Good morning. It's Stacy from Peony Lane Design. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, click the little blue button. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. Uh, it's another project from the box. The Doom Pile box. One of the Doom Pile boxes. That box is getting empty. Getting close. So I went over there to say, well, what's my next project in the Doom Pile box? And then I went, crap. <laughs> crap. <laughs> I don't want to do it. That's why it's in the doom pile box. Well, first of all, let's deconstruct why Stacy doesn't want to do it. Repairs need to be made. It's been damaged. Painting around this is going to be a nightmare. Um, it's raw wood. It's just, it's just, I didn't want to. I didn't want to. I bought it. I regretted it, and now here we are. So, I don't have a plan for it. <laughs> you know what? I think I have a plan for this, though. Let's. Yes, queen. Ah! Half my battle's over. I am going to make repairs. So I'm going to fill the hole. I'm going to fill, I'm going to fix this situation um I don't, I don't need it to hang um this was a bad idea it's a bad it's a design flaw bad design because ew first of all try painting around that right you can't you're gonna get paint all over it and it's gonna look like crap and that was probably one of them like oh, what do i do what do i do what do i do what do i do I could replace that with something else, but why? This will be cute just sitting next to a bird. One of my birds. <coughs> like, they're adorable together. Once this is painted, um, I don't know what I'm going to do to it. I'll just paint the whole thing white if I want to, but that's boring. I'm looking around, I'm like, okay. Options? Options? You guys can't even see what I'm looking at. But all of my supplies are in a different shelf over here. And there's some that has spilled out into the shelf over here. So when I do this, suddenly, I'm looking at all my supplies to see what I have as far as uh, what can I use on this. Um, she probably, like, there's probably been multiple videos where you've seen me just go, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, what do I got? What do I got? What do I got? Um, what would be cute for this, right? Like, I think I have patina paint somewhere. We could do like a rusty or coppery roof instead of just a plain white through the whole thing. I'm going to try not to overthink this because that's how things get undone is I start overthinking it and then I, it never happens. So yeah, let's fill the holes. That's, that's number one. I'm just going to fill it with some cracks back off. This is the best purchase I made at the, at the junk store. So this came from cart full of savings and they just had a bunch of dry decks for really cheap. And I went, oh, I'm going to get them. Do I need it? No, but now I did. And I'm glad I had it. So I'm just filling that hole. I am going to fill this too, this front part. Because there is just like, it's been hacked at. And it was like that when I got it. Perfect pitch. Now we're going to let that dry and then we will sand it. And I'm going to hand sand it. I'm going to do inside. You can see it's like all roughed up. 
we'll have to take the excess off of there and then like that's where the price tag was I don't know we're gonna figure it out though I don't want to do this. This is so stupid. Like, it's the smallest little project in that box. And I'm like, I don't want to. <laughs> Are you do? Yeah, you do. You want to. Because you want that box empty. I am so close to that box right there. Being empty and a new spot on my shelf to get this crap off the floor. My paint has over overloaded the shelf that it's on over here normally and now it has spilled out over here so if I can make room if I can get rid of the doom pile I can have the room back wouldn't that be amazing my god I don't know what I do with myself so yes I do want to get it done I don't want to do it but I want to get it done <sighs> That's what we call a paradox. It's a conundrum. But we're going to get it done. And I'm not going to overthink it. And if I can't find the patina like quickly. Or I think it's going to take too much time. We're just painting it white. And we're moving on. We're just going to move on with our lives. I do have. This might be too big for that little roof though. from the Dollar Tree. So I remember I did those projects with this and I had one sheet left over. And so this became part of the Doom Pile supplies. But maybe maybe a section of this could be put on the roof. I'll think on it while that's drying. I'll get back to you. Boom! I did the thing. What's happening in there? I don't know. As long as the spider doesn't come out, I'm good. Um, I'm going to take a little fine grit sandpaper and see in the hole, it's like really rough around the inside too. Oh, by the way, I could not find the patina and I am not digging. It's going to take too long. And you know what? Maybe we don't do white. Maybe we do blue again. That Irish garden was really pretty the other day on the fences. Irish garden. We could do a white roof and I do have those little texture thingies from the Dollar Tree. All right, I gotta go drop my car off in the not too distant future. So I'm gonna use a dry erase marker, wet erase marker. <laughs> I'm like, wait, no, that's not what that is. So that I can wipe it off. Got a green cap and it is a blue pen. That sounds about right. And I want that at the top. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. And that needs to be cut right there. So much better than working with actual ceiling tile, right? No, and that's where it all went wrong. Uh, this is the front. So I actually wanted it to be like this, and now I've got it like this, and too bad. We're just gonna go with it. We're gonna go with it, and we're gonna make this work. But now I gotta cut this off. Okay. 
making it work, people. We're just making it work. We're not going to get in another situation where I get depressed and I stop working on it because I mess it up or I doom pile, doom pile. Do That's how it all happens. We're just going to make this work. We're not overthinking it. Lovely. I don't care. We're going to get some hot glue on that. We're going to glue that down. Now we got to do the other side. I have to put a stand on this because I had to buy a new glue gun. So for those of you keeping track, that's five. Five glue guns that I've lost since I started the channel. Not of all time. So this will be number six if it goes missing. Let's pray this one doesn't go missing. But this is the sixth glue gun. Ta-da! Brand new glue gun. And of course we need to glaze this roof. So I have a wet napkin because I want to get rid of these damn napkins. So I might as well use them for this. And a little paintbrush and my glaze. And I'm just gonna bring out the detail of the roof a little bit. Just a little bit. Hmm. The plastic doesn't do the same as weird, 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 weird. Okay. I'm gonna leave it like that. Again, we are not overthinking. We're getting this project done. Don't overthink it. Okay, let me think on it for a minute. And just like that, another Doom project is done. Doom pile project. I don't know. I don't even know. It's stupid. It's not, it's not a thing, right? Like, it's not a big deal. Not at all. <laughs> Why did it take so long? I don't know. I think it was the hanger. I think the hanger really tripped me up. But it is now just a cute little birdhouse and it's going to sit, it'll probably sell right away because these projects, that's what's been happening is I'm like burning through these projects. Just get, let's get them out of here. Let's get them out of here. Let's get them out of here. And they're going into the shop and they're getting sold. This will probably sell. This little miniature birdhouse that I just painted white, stuck a roof on. Why did it take so long? I don't know. There's a lot of things that I'm working on now that um, but we're giving ourselves some grace. We are not going to, I'm not going to shame myself and get depressed because then I'll stop doing. So I'm just going to be happy that it's done 
and I'm going to go back in the box back there for the next project. It's almost empty. I'm very excited about that. I think there's a frame in there. I saw, I saw a frame. It was a small frame, so I don't know what we're going to do with that. A small frame and then, um, like a, like a textured bread pan that at one point I was making these tiered jewelry trays with them and I stopped. I, I think everybody else started doing it too. And I went, well, I'm not doing it anymore then. Like if everybody else is doing it, why do I want to do it? Kind of thing. So then I stopped doing it because I had made these double tiered bread pan things and now I, don't, I didn't want to do it. So now I'm going to figure out what I got to do with that bread pan aside from I could make bread. <laughs> I could just take it out of there, put it in the drawer and make bread. I make bread. It's got a weird texture on it. I don't know. We'll figure out. Either it'll get repurposed into something else or it'll get sold as a bread pan. It is a functional bread pan. Right? And, you know, people want bread pans. Anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. Happy junkin'. Bye. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and, of course, more junkin' videos.